Aries, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a work and career reading for Aries from the 3rd to the 16th of June 2019. Please don't forget to watch your Moon and Rising sign for a more complete picture. Uh, if you would like a personal reading, please go to my website jessmud.co.uk and book a reading. I put the decks that I'm using in the description box, so please have a look. And don't forget to watch uh, my videos on um, simple energy healing remedies as well as my deck walkthrough series. You will find that interesting. So like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if these messages resonate with you. So I'm starting off with a general energy read for you. And then I will do the general tarot read for you afterwards. I'm using the Gypsy Witch deck for this energy read. So the first card is the snake. So you're dealing with somebody who's very, very toxic. Uh, somebody who's maybe doing things behind your back um, that you don't even realize uh, that's going on. This person is probably very jealous of you. So you are dealing with a rather um, nasty kind of energy, nasty kind of person. Uh, causing a lot of problems, causing a lot of issues maybe stirring up a lot of problems uh so just be careful of that and they're causing some kind of loss so they're doing it very gradually you've got the mouse um card over there and this talks about you know something uh being taken away from you so they might be attacking your reputation uh with that uh mice card over there uh you know saying things to make people see you in a very poor light so just be aware that that's going on behind you they're extremely cunning uh because you've got three you know really sort of negative cards here uh, you've got the uh, fox card over here with that snake as well as the mice so you know you're dealing with a very cunning person doing things uh, that are, is really nasty they're saying a lot of nasty negative things as well and you know they're causing uh, uh, people to see you in a very poor light with that mice card so they're you know whatever they're saying is like sort of diminishing your reputation in in a way now, what's uh, happened for you? You've had the job, uh, the anchor card, which is about, you know, starting a new job that was pretty stable uh, and, you know, uh, generating, you know, stable income as well. And you're getting a lot of recognition for whatever work you're doing over there with that star. So maybe this is the reason why this person is pretty jealous and is trying to sabotage you uh, in a way. Now, going into the future, you've got uh, the letter card of yours. So some good news coming in because it's got the king of diamonds with it. So this is talking about some really good news about money coming in. So there could be a new job offer offer coming in or even a promotion coming in for you and there's a new beginning as well with the children card over here and it's the queen of uh, pentacles over there so a good job a new beginning with this uh, job and also money coming so you've got two money cards over here the king of pentacles um, and the queen of pentacles or rather the king of diamonds and the queen of diamonds so news about money and new money coming in and the beginning of a brand new job it seems like maybe this is um, a message about this new job that you are going to be getting or even a promotion and it's definitely making a new start with these children and uh, it's going to bring in a lot of money so uh, but just be careful of this person that you're uh, that's around you you've got the fox card which is a card of very cunning doing things behind your back pretending to be faithful a faithful friend and not really being that because you can't confuse the, the fox with the dog the dog is the faithful person and the fox is the cunning one uh, and this person is saying a lot of things uh, that is causing a bit of a loss of reputation there um, but uh, you know um, and they're doing it out of sheer jealousy really but some money a lot of money coming in there with that card and a promotion or even a new job and new beginnings coming in for you there so those are the energies for those two weeks so I'm using the Ramesses tarot for the main read Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, uh, you've got the chariot over here. So going through a lot of difficulties, but being victorious in it. Uh, so this is the card of success. So whatever you've been doing, uh, you know, it's been quite successful, but you've had to put in a lot of effort into it uh, and, you know, stand up for yourself. The chariot card could even be about moving home. So, you know, you could have moved or relocated as well, but you're definitely getting success in whatever you're doing and you're taking charge. You can see you're in control of that situation and, um, and taking char uh, charge. You've got those two horses reined in really nicely there 
which is saying that you know you're you're managing to sort out the people around you and there might be still a lot of drama going on around you but you are coming out of that particular situation and you are being victorious in it uh, now what's happening with you you've got the nine of swords over here and the death card so there's been a lot of anxiety you might have been dealing with somebody that has been really nasty uh, you can see this person's cutting off people's heads so somebody around you is uh, a very negative energy um, uh, they seem to be very harsh very nasty maybe the people that fire people very quickly um, as well so you could be dealing with that situation and threaten you as well so uh, somebody who is a, a bit of a bully well a lot of a bully really and you've got that death card over there. So you are trying to enter that particular situation and move on. You're feeling very tired, uh, tied up and restricted. You've got that mummy over there and you want your freedom from this particular job. So you have a decision to make over here. But it looks like you're going to be ending this situation and moving on. Because there seems to be a lot of drama that has been going on around you as well. So very difficult people and a very difficult situation. The tower energy has come in. So there's been a lot of loss. Something that you built up, uh, you know, um, ended up being um, completely destroyed. So there's something that happened, some big event, some big challenge, some big conflict uh, that came in, a tower moment that shifted everything, and everything seems to have fallen to pieces there uh, with that tower there. Uh, but And with the Seven of Swords, you know, it's you've been dealing with a lot of vindictive behavior, deception, nastiness. And it seems like somebody's come in to offer you advice to get out of the situation or even lend you a hand to get out of it. And you're going to be starting a new cycle or you're starting a new cycle. You're feeling very disappointed or very despondent. You've been through a lot of conflict and maybe you didn't know what to do. You've got a lot of crocodiles in that water over there. So a lot of people uh, with really bad intentions. So it seems like, you know, the whole situation that you've been working through uh, or working in has been very, very negative. Uh, uh, full of conflict, full of competition, uh, and you've been very, very stressed out with that Nine of Swords as well. You know, you maybe you've been worried a lot that you're going to be losing your job, and so you've decided uh, it looks like you're going to make the decision of just actually just cutting, uh, cutting yourself out of that situation and moving on. Now you've got the world card over here, so it looks like you want to enter this job and you want to move into something else. Uh, so ending this old work cycle that you're doing or this old job and moving forward. Yeah, it seems like you've had enough of it, of whatever's been going on. There's been a lot of drama. So there's some kind of legal issue that you'll be facing or there, there's some kind of legal decision pending uh, to do with this particular job. Now, there's a lot of swords over here. So that nine of swords over there is also about, uh, you know, maybe waiting for some kind of legal decision to come through as well. So the judgment will be made with the justice card. So whatever legal decision that is pending is going to be made soon. Uh, and what's happening with you? You've got the Knave of Chalices, so you're considering a new offer. You're, maybe you're planning on even doing some further study with this Knave of Chalices or the uh, Knave of Cups. Uh, so there's uh, something that you are, um, you know, you are considering, and you're you, you're going to go uh, go with that. Um, you can see she's got that um, little urn on her head over there. Uh, so you're thinking about doing some further study, or maybe just leaving everything behind, cutting your losses, and going, uh, and uh, you know, going back uh, maybe into school. Or maybe back into, um, you know, specializing in what you're doing, but you're cutting your losses and moving forward. Now you've got uh, the Queen of Swords over here. So you are waiting for that decision to come through. Uh, and it looks like you are going to make a clean break from this particular job and move forward. Um, and you're very determined to get there. You can see there's that. Um, she's looking at the past and she's got that uh, bloody sword over there. So it's about cutting that past out and moving forward. And the death card is also about just, you know, cutting things out and moving forward, ending that situation, uh, because it's causing you a lot of anxiety and distress. And there was some kind of legal um, situation or legal uh, judgment. Maybe that legal judgment in itself is going to be the thing that decides how you move forward uh, or, or spurs you into moving forward or leaving the situation. Uh, so you've got the hanged man over here. You're a bit undecided about what to do. You have been working very hard. You had to make a lot of sacrifices for this work. Uh, and you are waiting for a decision to come through. So you're a bit of a, uh, you're feeling a bit stuck at the moment, a bit of a stalemate situation right now. So going into the future, you've got the seven of pentacles, uh, the knave of swords and the eight of pentacles. So it looks like, you know, there has been some kind of financial loss that has come with this particular job loss. It seems like, you know, you are moving away from this job and uh, it's left you feeling uh, a sense of lack, 
as well with that seven of pentacles you feel like you've invested a lot of time and effort into this particular job and there has been no payout now it looks like you're going to be needing some kind of financial assistance so that will come in for you if you need that uh, it looks like uh, you know you will get that help if you need it there's some news coming in as well with that knave of swords so it could be something official coming in there's a lot of birds uh and that allows you to make the decision of moving on but it looks like you know you're going to be starting something new where you're going to be you know it's, it's a lot of hard work but you're going to be uh, maybe starting a new direction where you're going to be coming becoming an expert at whatever you're doing you're going to be doing a lot of things so you're going to be very very busy multitasking quite a bit so you might be signing some new contracts with that knave of swords as well uh, and moving into a much better place it more stability you've got that castle in the background there talking about stability coming in for you so you are waiting for that news to come in maybe waiting for a new job maybe waiting for even to uh, sign new contracts as well and you are going to be pretty busy as well with this eight of pentacles but it will generate quite a bit of money uh you know with that eight of pentacles so that new offer coming in for you there and it's going to have you working pretty hard soon or, or doing a lot of things uh, and learning a lot on that particular job. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the fairy tarot here. Now you've got the emperor over here and this is your card and this is use logic and structure to increase your success get organized a firm but compassionate leader so you are taking on a leadership role whatever this role is that is going to be coming in for you will be a leadership role and you're going to have to be very logical and you're going to be very much in charge uh, you know a person that handles resources basically uh and uh you know the four is a number of stability as well so you're going to be able to build on this particular job that you're going to be taking on you've also got the four of winter over here which says set aside your concerns for now you can make a decision later solutions that come from meditation a need for more sleep or a vacation you need to step back from the situation and look at it from a different point of view and you need to come up with a better strategy or a different idea so something will come to light for you some kind of information will come to light for you uh you know and there could be you know uh you winning in whatever the legal situation is because with that four of winter it's the four of swords you can see that fourth sword uh you know being very emphasized over there and that fourth sword is about winning any kind of legal battle that you've been going through but you need to step back from that situation don't get very emotional about it and make a decision based on logic and finally, you've got the balance card, which is the temperance card over here, which says take everybody's input into consideration, merge viewpoints to create a better solution and take your time. There's no need to rush. So you have to make some kind of decision uh, and uh, it looks like you need to ask some people for some advice. Get your balance back. Now, that temperance card with the balance uh, issue going on over there, there's still that legal uh, decision pending. So you're going to have to wait for that to come through. That will come through for you. But, you know, with the temperance card, it's always healing after uh, that decision is made. So you've got the justice card over there. The temperance card is talking about, you know, getting over that situation, uh, making a decision and getting you know, to do something that you love with that uh, nave of um, uh, chalices over there, so that new offer coming in. Uh, and, um, you know, you're going to be working and earning and uh, bringing in that money and becoming an expert at what you do. And whatever this has gone down, you can see even below this chariot card, there's that four of cups, so that new offer coming in. Whatever that offer is, don't, um, don't ignore it. You've got that uh, knave of cups over there and you've got this woman offering this man this cup. It's going to be something that's going to give you a lot of victory in that situation and help you move forward. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you and please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave me some comments if it has resonated. Thank you for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.